Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Pokemon Colosseum is playable with Dolphin within Retroarch. Kinda wish there was a way with GameCube games to like automatically set it to use the widescreen setting in the game's menu. I know it has a widescreen option, but that doesn't work. I mean, it, obviously it provides widescreen, but it provides fake widescreen, whereas games actually, um, they actually offer proper widescreen. It's just one of those crappy things. This does not have widescreen. Perfect. New game. Well, the menu is full speed. We'll go with... Wes. Oh god. New name. Oh, it's not actually completely blocked. What? Okay. Sure. Whoa. God, so many memories of this game. I just remember the Ludi Carlo dance. Brrr. I can't even do it. Brrr. <laughs> I can't remember how the song goes. Now that I think about it. Like, I've got a song in my head, but it's just... Um, it's the battle theme from Superstar Saga. <laughs> Yeah, and, um, God, was it Mirabi? Honestly, the cutscene's been fine. Just what happens when you get in game? Is the game buggered? Or is it fine? Yay! Oh. Oh, I just realised what they're transporting. That was so weird. The text is so broken, but it works out somehow. We bagged ourselves a good something. <laughs> Don't get any better than that. What on earth? Wow, okay. So weird. Why is this widescreen? What? Oh god, it's so strange. Wait, it's widescreen in here now. Huh? Okay. Why is it widescreen? Oh god. There we go. Got the controls are weird. Sure. Yeah, this is fairly busted. No, the controls are strange because I'm moving the analog stick like backwards, but it's still moving you forwards. It's very strange. Let's do it! Oh my god, it's so busted! There's Umbreon, of course. And there's Espeon, of course. Oh, there we go, it'll fix itself. I thought this guy started off with Wishmas, but I guess not. 
for some reason it's just what I thought. He has a level 24 Zigzagoon. Wouldn't it have evolved into a Lanoon by that point? I'm pretty sure it would have. No. Nice. I always remember Umbreon not being the strongest. But he did flinch. I'll make him flinch. Yeah, Espeon's like the power. The powerhouse. I think Espeon remained in my team for the entirety of the game when I played. Whereas Umbreon I got rid of. Or like replaced with a different Pokemon. I know, Umbreon just does not have the power that Espeon does. Wiped out, I still need seasoning. Okay. I mean, it could be worse, but it is very broken. <laughs> it's weird how the text is going. It's like it's translating in real time. It's really weird. Yeah, there we go. Um, if I push the stick all the way down, I end up running forwards for some reason. I don't... Oh, you can use the D-pad. Okay, it's not too terrible then. That's an option. Ooh. I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> this is a good place to end the test. <laughs> Honestly, performance-wise, it's not been terrible. It's had a few... Like, uh, hitches here and there. Mostly just when loading a new area, but the biggest issue is what's on screen. The text is very broken and illegible in a lot of the cases. Which could make the game very hard to play, but... Yeah, I'd have to say that Pokemon Coliseum is playable with issues. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.